హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ సర్క్యూట్ రిప్రజెంటేషన్స్ స్పెసిఫికలీ ఫోకసింగ్ ఆన్ బిహేవియరల్ రిప్రజెంటేషన్ బిఫోర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ బిహేవియరల్ రిప్రజెంటేషన్ లెట్ అస్ టాక్ అబౌట్ త్రీ మెయిన్ వేస్ we can describe a circuit or system in a digital design the first way of describing the circuit is behavioral representation the next way is structural representation and finally we can describe a circuit or a system in physical representation so the three main ways of representing a circuit or a system is behavioral representation structural representation and physical representation and each of these focus on different aspect of design process today we'll understand the behavioral representation so what exactly is behavioral representation the behavioral representation describes how a system or circuit responds to a given set of inputs this representation focuses on the functionality if we say functionality it will focus on what the system does rather than how it is built or what technology it is used so behavioral representation describes how a system or circuit responds to a given set of inputs it focuses on the functionality of the system or the circuit rather than how it is built or what technology is used now let us understand the behavioral representation at logic level you need to remember the behavioral representation is all about what the system does and not on how the system does for example if you are designing the logic gates you need not worry about the transistors are wiring at this stage instead we need to focus on its behavior of the system based on the boolean function so for example we have taken a system with four inputs a b c and d the function of the system can be represented as a plus b plus c dot d this describes the behavior of the system and it focuses on what this given system does so this boolean function behaves based on the input a b c and d so this is the logic way of describing the system or to describe the circuits operation so behavioral representation in logic level describes how the output behaves based on the inputs for example here we have four inputs so based on these four input how this system behaves describes the logic level representation of a system in logic level representation we will not focus on how physically the circuit is implemented rather we will focus on how the output behaves based on the inputs that are given to the system now let us understand the higher level behavioral representation you need to remember that the behavioral representation is not limited only for logic level we can use the behavioral representation for higher level for example we can describe the behavior of the system at a higher level using operations so to describe the behavior of the circuit or a system using operations we can use programming language so here is an simple example where sum is equal to a plus b this describes what the system will do here for an example the system will add two numbers but here it does not represent or it will not show how the system will add these two numbers how this addition operation happens is left to the machine or the system that is used or to the designer to figure out how this system will add the two numbers so this higher level approach will make it easier to focus on describing the operation of the system now let us understand the behavioral representation 
of sequential circuits sequential circuits are one where the output of these circuits depends on current input as well as past inputs so sequential circuits are the circuits whose output will depend upon the current value of the input as well as past value of the input if we say past value of the input this sequential circuit should have some memory so example of this sequential circuit are flip flops so in flip flops the output will depend upon the current input as well as past input this is the simple representation of flip flop where if the load signal is equal to 1 then the output will be equal to input so this is the control signal this is the output and this is the input data so if the control signal will be equal to 1 output will be equal to the input that is given this represents the conditional statement so this conditional statement describes the behavior of the flip flop now let us understand even higher level behavioral representation of the system the even higher level of the system describes some specific things like registers that are used in the design which includes data transfer between these registers so even higher level of behavioral representation describe some specific things for example we can describe the registers that are used in the system design and also we can describe the data transfer between these registers these descriptions provides even less information about implementation details but it will define how the system will function so we can describe the behavior as an algorithm in a higher level programming language like python or c programming so why does the behavioral representation matters this behavioral representation is very important in modern digital design so if we say modern digital design it is used to convert a higher level behavior specification into optimized hardware design this process will ensure faster design time and it increases the accuracy and it is highly reliable so by using behavioral representation designers can develop complex digital system while focusing only on the functionality before designing on implementation details this is about behavioral representation in digital design hope you have understood the topic thank you